Hi everybody, music lovers and uh, lovers of bizarre, crazy oriental instruments. I'd like to introduce to you this, um, this new one I just finished building today, just completely uh, finished today. It's called a blue tar. No, that's a joke. Um, it's called uh, the Maze tar. And uh, it was built by me for uh, a really good friend of mine and uh, an excellent young musician from Santa Barbara, California, um, named Maz Karandish. So he decided to call it the Maz Etar. What it actually is, you see, Maz and I had been um, discussing an instrument for him for probably the last three or four years or so. And his ideas kind of morphed um, from, um, from started as, you know, from just a nude with sympathetic strings. And then he wanted the Sorod also. And so for a while we had it sort of that it was going to be, which actually this configuration, if you just take these, these two necks, this Oud and the Sorod, that's uh, a Rag Makamtar version 13. So if you want to know what a Rag Makamtar is, just check out my, uh, my website and Basically, uh, the Ragma Kamtar is an instrument that I uh, developed over the last 12 years or so, which is uh, an oud and a sorod together in one instrument. Um, and there are 14, 15 versions of it now. So this, so this particular configuration with this tuning, which is like uh, 65 centimeters and uh, more or less Arabic tuning, and this is 65 centimeters also, um, which is a sorode tuned in C. What's kind of interesting about this um, oud tuning is that it's Arabic tuning, but Arabic, um, Arabic, the Arabic neck is a little shorter, okay? So with this giving an extra four, four centimeters, it kind of gives more, uh, a little bit of a more tension on there for the nylon strings which is good for this kind of instrument because when you have a, a multi-neck, double neck or triple neck instrument with steel and, and nylon, they say you can't do it because in fact, the nylon strings usually suffer. Like the, they have less tension. So the sound of the nylon strings is usually much, much weaker. But having this extra tension, a little bit longer scale length with the same tuning gives it more tension and uh, brings the boosts the, the sort of volume up from the nylon strings up to the level of the steel strings, which is cool. So basically this would be a Ragma Kamtar version number 13. And in the last minute, Maz, uh, Maz convinced me <laughs> to uh, add on this third neck, which is basically um, something like a, a saz, a chura, or a, or a setar neck. It's only got four strings, uh, the, the top string is doubled, and it's got tied on frets. So um, we've got some microtonal frets on there to get the... The idea of Maz is actually, he's an American guy, uh, but his family background is, is uh, Persian, okay? And he's quite, quite an amazing musician. He's a young guy, but he plays sitar, oud, uh, setar, sarod, really well. I mean, he plays all this, but well, you know, so check this guy out. He's, he's, he's amazing. And, and he's a very eccentric guy. He, he, uh, he loves blue, this, but this color of blue, exactly this shade of blue. So, <laughs> so he convinced me to do this and uh, it's the first time for me. Well, not really, really the first time, but you know, to do with these, uh, these kind of frets and uh, these tied on frets similar to tying a sitar fret on, and you can move them, you can tune the frets. So the idea is uh, of the mazetar is basically like an uh, oriental extravaganza. You've got India with the sarod, you've got Turkey, Arab, Egypt, the Arab world covered in the middle neck, and then you've got Persian music on this neck. So. That's it in a nutshell. What else is interesting? Hmm. Except the color, very blue. Um, 
Yeah, you know, I, I had to intonate a special intonation on the on the bridge here because because this has frets, right? When you don't have inton when you don't have with a fretless, you don't need to really worry so much about intonation, right? Like as you would with a fretted. So this had to be intonated so you get the correct tuning. And uh, okay, so I'll just play a little, just a couple of phrases on each neck. Oh, 